Hello there ladies and gentlemen, folks in between and those out on the fringes. My name is Hugo, your nomadic gamer, and welcome to Call of Cthulhu. Now this is a survival horror game based on the works of H.P. Lovecraft. And let's see what we got. Chapter 1. Apparently I am a veteran of World War 1 and looks like I suffer from PTSD. If I am mad, it is mercy. May the gods pity the man who in his callousness can remain sane at the hideous uh, Whoa. Oh no, that's that's a shark? Oh, that's a bad place to pass out, dude. <laughs> Okay. Oh, good. Game saved. What? <laughs> so... That... That is straight bonkers. Oh my goodness. Can I take this with me? Can I, can I grab this? I would like, I'd like to hold this, please. Yes? No? No? Fine. I'm a brave boy. I'm a brave boy. Huh. You guys want to make it seem ominous, but... Okay, it's, it's kind of ominous. Also, really creepy. Who just leaves rotting fish guts and carcasses all over the place like this what is going on can can I pick this up can I have this can I pick can I can I pick this up no fine I don't want a souvenir crap why am I crouching there's a door here that's chained why is the door chained Why did you want me to crouch? Oh. This is why. Alright. So is this way any clearer? No. It's... It's chain two. What? Who needs that kind of secure... Where am I? Besides the obvious. Clearly I'm in a cave. You must light up some I don't What do you mean I light up items? Oh yeah, I can finally pick up something. Okay, so there is a river system. Whoa ho ho. Oh, ho, ho. that's... Hello? Hello? Uh, it makes it brighter, but I can't see anything because that still blinds me. That's worthless. So we gotta light stuff up to... Oh, hey! A dog. I have obtained bolt cutters. Whatever it was that was in that water still kind of creeps me out. Oh boy. Alright. Hello? <laughs> who, uh. You, you, uh, you want to answer yourself? Who, who the balls were you? I intro introductions, I believe, are in order. Oh boy. Okay, that's a killer whale carcass. Where am I?
what a treat offering. Excuse you? Killer whale sharks? Ridiculous amount of fish guts. Where is this place? This music is not helpful. Don't fight. You have been chosen. Chosen for what? Do I get a prize? Am I gonna get a coupon from Mickey D's? No, this random voice is not very helpful. He likes to be no. What's the run option? That's the run? That's a very slow run. Is this is this dude out of shape? That's more like a brisk walk. But alright, fun. Behold what the balls. The Where is your Where are their faces? But perhaps you will attempt to change your destiny. Change my destiny. Hey, whoa! Hey, back off, back off! No, no, no! Okay. I hate whiskey. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, whiskey, that, that's what did it to you. Jeez. Okay, so where the crap am I? Edward Pierce, private invest. Okay, so I'm in my uh, office, possibly apartment. Been too long since I've slept in a bed. So yeah, apartment slash office. Lost battalion. Holding your position and obeying orders. That isn't correct. Okay. What I used to got? be an avid reader. Used to be? Dude, there are books strewn all over the place. What do you mean, used to be? What's in here? Nothing. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. Okay. I don't want to try to leave just yet. There's still more stuff to look at. Ooh, what's Married this? woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. Huh. Okay. What's in here? Ooh, another one. A good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. Okay. This dude has a lot of solved cases that don't particularly end the way people want them to, apparently. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. But I only used to be an avid reader. I don't care about any of this anymore. One bad winter and foof, up it goes in flames. I should get rid of all this stuff. What is... Severe blizzard. Why do you have all of this stuff? Liquor prescription stub. What? Boston Strangler escapes from state mental ward. Prohibition? Is that a real thing that needed to be done then? I'll look it up later. I'll leave that on. <laughs> Been a What's while that? since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. Oh. Okay. Doctor can well repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay. But I know that if I stop, the memories will return. 
One of these mornings, I probably won't wake up. Oof. That's dark. Let's well, see. Whoa, what did that, that. Mental trauma. Oh, there's a lot of mental trauma available. What is that? Sanity. Stable. Confident in your abilities and your Cartesian mind. You conduct your investigation by sticking to the facts, convictions, and perception of reality. Your conclusions are logical and reliable. Huh. Oh, look at that. Okay, so we got a skill tree here. Occultism, medicine, strength, eloquence, spot hidden, psychology, and investigation. Okay. Dark water is somewhere. Dunno where. Clues, and I have a lighter. Oh, there we go. Now I can only rotate it. I can only spin it. All right. Lost battalion it is. There's two case files that he solved. What is that? I wonder why I still take these things. Sleeping pills. Use with caution. Somniferous? It's a very pretty bottle, though. And apparently they're mine now. Okay. What's this? Have a drink or don't drink? We'll, we'll, we will not drink for right now, because I don't know what the deal that is. Is there anything in here? Right, it's just right. All right, well, let's leave. I have business here to attend to. I do? Where? Dude, there's like nothing else here. Do I gotta turn that off then? Game saved. Okay. Huh. Don't know why that startled me, but alright. Hello? I'm listening. Are you Edward Pierce? Private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. <laughs> Fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that, that seems right. like your problem, not I'm mine. I'm very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Uh, Y'all don't have... Oh. Okay. What do we got here? Got eight character points. Hmm. So... How about... Ah, oh, man. Hmm. Okay. How about... We'll put two here. Put two here, two here, and two here. For because I, I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Thank you for this information, Mr. Pierce. Our files will soon be up to date. And on a related matter, may I raise a sensitive question? What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. Progress. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth <laughs> not losing your license. Show 
yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, do you still... <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> May I raise a sensitive question? We don't think you're worth the, the position over here at Wentworth Detective Agency. Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. Okay. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. Okay, whoa. One step in and you're insulting me. How dare you? You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen no. Webster, industrialist oh. and art collector. All of Boston knows you. Tell me, oh, okay. Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you are you come capable to me, of taping a fist to the face? Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl. She is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. How do but you know that's a lie? Proof, I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. Th this is what you have. This is your proof that your daughter didn't go nuts. A painting that... What am I supposed to find? Tell huh. me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic. A rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. Oh, okay, good. Jeez. Well, the warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. Okay. So what do we got? See shipping label for a warehouse 36 in dark water. Police report says a fire started in the dining room and claimed the whole family. Cops decided it was a domestic accident, but they insist on Sarah Hawkins' mental frailty. And a press cutting, an article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles. They live a reclusive life with their only son, Simon. Okay. Consult diary. <laughs> it's a journal. Oh, just... Okay, fine. What do we got here? What's this symbol on the man's chest? It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. So, Mr. Pierce... What do you make of these elements? I just started looking at it. Could you give me a minute? <laughs> uh, let's see. I've unlocked an answer. <laughs> what else we got here? Ba 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 ba. Okay, how about this one? You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. Yeah. No. Sarah had. Visions, everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? That kind of seems. What do you mean by that? I like never a knew what mental she Mental frailty, by that. but okay. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. Alright, well, it still sounds like she was mentally fragile still. Uh, let's see. Where'd she live? Darkwater. Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. 
Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. Okay, before you just wanted me to look at the painting. <laughs> but alright, fine, whatever. What about this warehouse? The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. No, oh, that was my Uber. <laughs> okay, how about, uh... The meaning could be exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe, too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting huh. is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. Alright. So something's not right about this whole thing, though. Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. Okay, pretty sure I just agreed with you on that, but alright, fine, be that way. Alright, we're good. I think I'm beginning to understand. Nothing. I'm willing to do anything <laughs> for my daughter to recover her honor. She's Quiet dead, down. there's nothing to recover. I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right, I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's don't, don't queer. But it's not like I have a choice. Can I do Dark it? Dark rude. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. Okay, so. I guess that's Sarah right there, and I can't zoom. I, why can't I zoom? I can shift? What the crap? <laughs> Sorry. So I'm assuming that's the wife and the kid. Don't know what this other guy is. Man, that bothers me a bit. Alright, so... Dark water, dark water. I should get rid of all this stuff. Okay, that's not the answer. Uh, here? Natural sciences. Nope. Linguistics. Here? Our dark water is off the coast of Boston. Ah, here we go. But I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. But it seems to have been shunned since then. Inhabited since 14th century. Still rich with the many memories left by its lost tribes. Don't let the romanticism of these moving evidences of such naive and primitive beliefs fool you into forgetting how violent their gods were. What? Gigantic creature still ornates the walls of long abandoned caves. Was it a sea or a dream god? What? Today's inhabitants still remember the mysterious and tumultuous story of their small land off the coast of Massachusetts. Rock painting found in a cave in Darkwater Island. That is a... What is that? That's some kind of weird creature. Is that a fish? All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to Darkwater. Alright, away we go. Oh good, I got a pleasure cruiser. I don't see much of a deck. How am I ever going to enjoy those 
beautiful, beautiful night lights in the sky. <laughs> He's such an ugly looking character. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah, look at all that scenery. It's so beautiful. I love the ocean. <laughs> hey, how you doing? We're almost there. How can you tell? There's not even a light there's not even a lighthouse anywhere. Creature of legend or something else? I wish I could remember it right now. Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Okay, clearly he wasn't talking to me about that. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. Oh, there's so, the lighthouse. What wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Ah, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been Those a man whale bones? Man, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. Ah, nice young woman. And a great painter. Well, what's that about? You know what? Go yeah. have a drink of the stranded whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. Harbor Master's? If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. My goodness, do you, do you need to like gargle some alcohol or something? You, seriously, frog in the throat is the only word they can describe you right now. Let's see what's going on over here. How are all of these whale bones just lying around? Hey, well, what's that? How on earth? But it's only a Does a place like this even come into being? Okay, that's enough. Step back and let us do our job. That's no way to treat an omen. Medicine. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know. Don't oh put great. That beast back in the water, Fail a skill test. Crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. Damn Damn stupid it. idiots. Forget it. Nobody listens to us anyway. That's no way to treat an omen. Jeez, oh, yeah. this thing has been wrecked. Hey dude. Same goes for you, sir. Move along. Dude, you you look like you're out of your depth here. Don't treat me like another one of these locals. How dare They're completely you. overwhelmed, and you could do with reinforcements. What are you thinking? That you can call the National Guard to an island like Darkwater? For a stranded fish? Gosh darn, Mr. Not like another one of these locals. Go give your valuable advice somewhere else, huh? Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. 
Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. Okay. They can't understand. All right. So, can't go that way. What's going on over here? What did he call us just now? I said you were a bilge rat. And even a... There's nothing for you here flipping. either. Beat you it. think we don't know what you're doing? Okay. Ball, I'll shut up your big mouth once and for all. Optimistic. Are you stupid or what? Even your captain told you not to stick your nose huh. around here again. So those guys aren't going to do anything either. All right. Yeah, what's this? Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits me fine. Does it? Whoa, whoa, what is the deal there? Why is that green? Hey, what are you guys burning over here? Oh, I just realized all their lights are green. Are they stained glass? This one seems kind of regular, so I guess it is. All right, let's go to the bar. I mean, the bar. <laughs> My goodness, he's ugly. Huh. Hey, be careful. That seemed unnecessary. It's not like the dude spat on your shoe. Hello, lady. Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. Now oh, come on, buddy. Hmm. <laughs> I'll just apologize. Pure instinct. I behaved like a hun, and I sincerely apologize. Veteran, huh? I'm a three hundred and seventh infantry regiment. Oh. Well, that'll be okay for now. But the war is over. Try not to forget it. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak cool. I reserve the right to answer or not. All right. So let's find out more about the place. Okay. Uh, we'll start with the bar. The stranded whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. Yeah, I can, I can tell. All right, now for the real reason I'm here. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Um. Her vision, was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? Okay. That seems to be setting up for something different. Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. 
Make up your own mind. Yeah, where do I see those, though? I've got what I need. Anything do else? I? Okay, uh, let's see. I asked about that. I asked about the stranded will. How about this warehouse? You know where this place is. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why, Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors okay. from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? Yeah, and what? That's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? Uh... No, I guess that's about it. That'll be all for now. Huh? What's this? Charles Hawkins was a heavy drinker. And a debtor. Interesting. What is it? 60 bucks? He's got a huge tab. Wow, they... They really didn't like that idea of prohibition. You know, there is an awful lot of sharp and pointy things near a lot of people looking to get drunk. <laughs> that's... That's concerning. The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. 80 years? You mean nothing has happened on this miserable rock since 1847? What the balls? The Scylla returns and saves dark water from famine. Putting his wear out for rent from June. Right, you to an exceptional free tasting event. Each person will leave with a bottle of oil, so don't hesitate. Huh. Okay. Let's go have a chat with Fitzroy then. I'm done at the bar, Mr. Fitzroy, so I thought I'd see you over at the harbor master's office. Ugh. Harbor master. City of dark water. I'm just gonna close this door. Cause I'm polite. Can I ring the bell? Broke. This place seems half abandoned. Okay, I can't ring the bell. Hey, boss, you, uh, you got a leaky roof over here. You want to see something about it? I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. Uh, okay. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. That's all I'll get from them. What do you mean that's all? What is this? Only a few dates are still legible. 1890, 1907, and a partial date. The rest of the document is blacked out. Redacted. My goodness. Who could... Oh, you're serious about meeting me out on the deck. All right. Okay, see you, buddy. Just gonna rummage through your stuff over here. Excuse me. What's I this? wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman, Cat. The terms of our agreement are clear. Keep your men under control. You cannot afford to provoke us. No need to answer this message. Just make your payment to the carrier. Ooh. Tough guy like Captain Fitzroy is being shaken down. What's this? A Scylla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. Beached? That thing was wrecked. There's no way that thing is sailing again. 
This blackboard hasn't been used in a long while. I mean, I guess they don't whale anymore over here. Fishing equipment. <laughs> Could do with some rust remover. Rust remover? Oh, the hooks. Gotcha, gotcha. What's in here? A lavatory. I gotta use the toilet. No one come in. No one bother me. Oh, yeah, I got a lighter. Oh, no, there's a dead rat. I should inspect it more. What did it die of? Natural causes? Probably. All right, let's put it away. Get out of here. Is this place is more of these green lights? Okay, boy. This one. This one's legit green. It's got no. Uh. Cover? I don't know what the word is for the glass that covers it. Oh, hey, what's that? Learning of Medicine, Volume 2. Ooh, medicine progression. Huh. All right, cool. Oh, what's that in the distance? Is that a statue? Still screwing around with that whale carcass. What's this? What a macabre souvenir. Macabre? I thought it was macabre. Nothing there. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. A man who looked like Captain Fitzroy is posing on the bridge of a ship. He has a wooden leg. Huh. Some flags. Darkwater Island map. Wickwood School. A few mansions. Elder's Word. Courthouse. Harbor. Hillside Cemetery. Old mine. The asylum and the hospital are right next to each other. What is that? Hey, wait. I, I want to get a closer look at that. This is someone tied up to a stake. Is that a creature coming up from the water? Ah, uh, that does not help. At, at seriously, that looks like something out of Greek mythology. I really gotta look into that. I'm very curious about that now. Put it away, put it away. Put it away, put it away, put it away now. Okay. Is that an, it's not suspended, so it got knocked into the air. I guess by a whale or a large fish? Was that one based on Ahab's story? I didn't see any fishermen in that. All right, Mr. Fitzroy. Let's have a few words. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors. The fights of the stranded whale. Even the antics of these war rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on Darkwater. Tell me what I can do to help you. You're the only... Really? Oh, okay. Well, let's talk about the documents you showed me in such a generous fashion. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. 
And why obliterate the dates, as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? They might. Uh, let's see, what did he do for a living? I know that Charles Hawkins was descended from a family of ship owners, and the island's fishing industry was hit badly. Indeed, we specialized in whaling. But no whalers went out to sea after the miraculous catch of 1847. So where did the Hawkins family get its money? Well, from what Charles inherited, I presume. Although, these dates on the manifests could indicate that he had contracts of another kind. With whom, I wonder? Okay... So that led me to a big fat bunch of nowhere. Let's ask about the catch. The miraculous catch. Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glorious past. Go yeah, read the story of the sea of glory to Darkwater Harbor. It's displayed on a wall of the stranded whale. Yeah, I did. Uh, let's see. Uh, it seems too much like a breach of privacy, despite that I rummage through the stuff in there. So does the photographs. Let's talk about the whale. I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. Okay. Uh, do you have any idea what could have killed killer it? Killer whales don't have many known predators. That's true. And normally, they're not found around here. But, um, <laughs> you're gonna take me for a fool. Give it a try. Have you heard about the depths? Trenches that fool. plunge into the <laughs> earth, and that shelter creatures unlike any other. You're talking about mythology. <laughs> Indeed, you're right. So again, no solid answer from you. You're a really shady guy, Mr. Fitzroy. I mean, I'm not gonna bother asking why are they putting it back in the sea. I mean, where else are they gonna have it? I'm or looking for it? Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? <laughs> Is this a game to you? Let's just say this one. It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. Because I'm a clever boy. So I'm going to go ahead and be done with you. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. Okay. Don't know why I would bother. Cause you got nothing for me. All you got is a bunch of malarkey. Oh hey, well it's out of the way. Stupid idiots. Forget it. Nobody listens to us anyway. That's no way to treat an omen. Again, yeah. just keep shouting that. I'm gonna look at that statue over there. I, what? What is that? What is that writing? Let's get to the front. Seriously, there are an awful lot of wrecked ships. Huh. Saint Brendan the Navigator. That's curious. A Saint Brendan. Patron saint of sailors and travelers. Desecrated. I can't even say which language it's written in. Okay. Awesome sauce. I saw something earlier. Wrong button. 
Here we go. Oh, I got character points I can use. Alright. So... What do I want to do? Let's... Raise... That and that. Okay, still sane apparently. Ooh, I know people. Old grumpy man, dead son-in-law, dead daughter, dead grandson, bar owner, and harbor master. I now know the island of dark water and a few of its locales there. I got that creepy painting. I'm curious catch that saved an island but kept it completely unknown to the rest of the world for some reason and the statue of Saint Brendan got all these random bits and clues I have found almost nothing else of value Huh? What's in here? Oh. Investigation. What's in this? I'm pick okay. Damnation. I broke it. It's no use. The padlock won't give. Okay, my bad. What else we got over here? Barred off staircase. Bunch of people just standing around. Okay. Hi there. How are you guys doing? Come on, you can tell me. No, if it gets out, I'll have serious problems with you know who. I bet that you hid them somewhere in your hut on the docks. Not even. And don't go look in there. Don't go look How in there. How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. Huh. Oh yeah, I'm a stealthy boy. Okay. So... It's interesting information. I'm assuming he's standing in front of the entrance. So let's see if we can have a quick chat here. Hey there, buddy. Where do you think you're going? I want to go into the warehouse. I'm not here to hinder your work, officer. Edward Pierce, private detective. Sorry, we're all a little on edge today. Why? What are you doing here? I'm investigating the death of the Hawkins family. Darn it. Why do you want to drag up all that stuff again? My investigation man. has led me to this warehouse. That case was closed months ago. Were there others interested? Who are these others so interested in the warehouse? And why would I tell you? We're on the same team. You and I are on the same side of the law. Oh, yeah? You don't want to know the truth behind this case. Are you saying our work was not up to snuff? Oh, crap. Forget it. Ah, tech, nabbit. Can I try it again? No. No, Who I... Who are these Oh, yeah, I can. ...so interested in the warehouse? Don't aggravate me, sir. Oh. I can't. Well, crud. What more can you say about the death of the Hawkins family? 
Not much more than what everyone knows. I wasn't on the case. They were all burnt to death, right? Up at their place. The whole mansion went up in flames. Don't get it into your head to go wandering around up there. It's dangerous. What do you mean by that? It lived the only one stuff. left there is old Silas, and the accident has affected him badly. He can be unpredictable, especially if a stranger starts poking around the property. Is he a danger to the public? No, he's in his own home. Do yourself a favor. Leave him well alone. Okay. You again. I told you to beat it. No but need to get worked up. Okay. So I cannot talk to him about that. Uh, let's let's see if I can get past these guys. Come on, you can tell me. Who's this guy? No idea. You better keep it shut. <laughs> Boy, we don't have a clear conscience. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? Oh, you are looking at me. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's see. So, who are you? Are you stupid or are you doing it on purpose? Everybody Easy. knows us on Darkwater. Well, I ain't I've just on... arrived. Oh. Let's yeah. just say we're standing guard for the owner of the site. And we let no one enter her property. You... Cap, she's your boss. What? You listen through keyholes. She's the boss, yeah. She says who goes in or not. Shut up, you dummy. You wanted to know that you also talk too much. She must be <laughs> quite intimidating if she can make two men like you tremble. <laughs> she redid the smile at the last one who wanted to get in. I hope you had a good dentist. No, no, you don't understand. She really cut him a new smile. But he only <laughs> smiles with the left cheek. <laughs> Oof. So... She sounds frightening, your boss. And she doesn't like to be talked about behind her back. Okay. So, can I lie? I've got to get inside. It's your boss who sent me. Oh yeah? And why didn't she say anything to us? She sent me to see who's filching her stock. I don't know what you're talking about. You got no proof to back up your claims, and I'd advise you against snitching. If I can't get rid of those two, I'll have to look for another way. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? Really? That's it? I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's gonna be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. Fuck off. I don't oh, give a damn on. about your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. Now we don't give a damn about you. Well, good. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. Okay. I bid you gentlemen farewell. Huh. If I can't get rid of those two, I'll have to look for another way. What are you guys about? You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We do saw what? what you did to St. Brendan. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. What? What? <laughs> I just arrived, you fools. How can I be the one who defaced your saint? I've just come ashore, you idiots. That's true. We're as drunk as lords. You bet. You could have gone by without us seeing you. Do what? not rile me. You can hardly stand up. He's right. We're no match. For the moment. We're annoyed. It's understandable. There's okay. you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait, right. Now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. 
What brings you to dark water? Huh. Wait, wait, hold on a minute. The two guys behind you. What are they guarding? The bootleggers. Scum. They're protecting their territory. From whom, I wonder? They really don't have a choice anyway. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. If only they would kill each other. Okay, I already know about cat is. Ooh, unlocked answer. See that one. I have an offer that could interest you. We're listening. I need you to keep them busy for a while. You send us to take the punishment while you go quietly about your business. You're thinking What's too much in for a drunk. For us? What would convince you to help me? There's only one thing that'll get us to move. For sure. Bring us something to drink and we'll take care of the bootleggers. Okay. I'll be back. Take your time. We're going nowhere. Alright, alright. So, let's go to the bar. Something real bad. Just shut up. You guys are doing nothing but talking about the same thing, which is ridiculous. Hey, what are you doing staring at that? Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. I gotta buy something. What can from I you. get you? I need some Let's whiskey. Let's say I want to buy a bottle from you. Choice is yours. Everything's on sale. Hot dog. Oh my, no. We'll just do that. How one. much for a bottle of whiskey? Five dollars. I guess I'm that desperate. I'm not judging you. Well, good. That'll be all, right. all for now. See ya. Let's go give those drunken fishermen some more drinks. La 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 la. Hey buddies, how you guys doing? I got you some more liquor for your time. So, have you got what we asked you for? I do. Look what I've got. Bloop. You're a good guy, you. Why, thank you. Follow me. Hey, what? Cheers, you jackass. Oof, I don't feel well. Hey, where are you going? Say that again. I hope for your sake that I didn't hear. No, no, it's not what you think. It's just that you sell yourself as a prize. No, his buddy abandoned him. But now, oh, yeah. That's unfortunate. Ah. What's this? Okay. Let's see. Oh no, another one of these. Come on. Come on. Hot dog. Perfect. Oh, this place stinks. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? Okay, so I got to do this investigation thing. All right. Huh. Okay, so what do we got here? What happened here? Well, someone wasn't thrilled with the way they looked. Who has enough money to buy painkillers, but stays in a place like this? Painkillers and sleeping pills. Can't sleep. I know how that feels.
Okay, that's more fish guts. It smells as bad as it looks. Nothing else. What is this picture of Charles and Sarah Hawkins doing here? Whoa, what is that? Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? What was it doing here? Another point earned. All right. Uh, the eloquence is missing one, so let's do that one. Bam. And now I am a professional speaker. <laughs> oh, I've got another point. Oh, okay. Uh, let's... Hmm. Let's increase that a bit. So now I know fish then used since the death. Presence of bloodstained bandages must be noted. Probably removed from a wound. Painkillers and sleeping pills are there. Huh. Nope. Uh, someone has settled in here. What? And whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? Yo, don't move. Hi. The Hi, Hawkins how are you doing? The case has been wound up. Let the dead rest in peace. But, uh... Hmm. Let's show my psychology. You seem like a competent officer. We should help each other. You're trying to manipulate me, Mr. Pierce. I hate to be taken for a fool. Crud. All right, Inspector Lestrade. Let me take a more direct approach. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange portrait. Wait, I know it. You it do? was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene. Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> yeah. I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car's parked down the way. Okay. Andrews, would you please shut the door? And open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. Yeah, right under your nose. God damn it. Her again. Her who? Hi. How this are you? case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Why you? Wow, she Come is on. very rude. Keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, wow, she I get is it. real bold. Can we go to the mansion now? Who the hell are you? What were you doing on my turf? I've got my eye on you. We'll meet again. Will it be under good circumstances? Is it far, this mansion. Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. So you see the building? That's a yes then. That's the Hawkins Mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. My goodness. <laughs> Alright, well that's where I'm going to leave this episode. If you liked it, go ahead and click that like button. If you want to see more content like this, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'm going to go ahead and link two other videos. And if you want to support my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.